daylight is now longer, the queen is now laying, and the colonies are now starting to build. This is when most of their resources and food stores are going to be diminishing. They're going to be eating it at an alarming rate. So you need to keep an eye on food. Make sure they have food. You can heft your hives. I've got a video I will link up. Some hives will be stronger than others. You will see when it's a relatively nice day. I know it's a rarity in England, but you will see pollen going in and out of the hives, which is a great sign. You'll also see bees doing their cleansing flights. I wouldn't recommend feeding syrups at this time. It's still a little early, plus it's a bit too cold. If you are wanting to feed syrups, wait until it's about a steady 12 Celsius. We don't want the temperature dropping too low. It's hard work on the bees if they do take in syrups at a low temperature. We're feeding fondant at the moment using Apipasta. Different colonies have different cluster sizes. You can see by this hive here, aka the crazy hive, they had a bigger cluster, whereas their neighbour had a much smaller cluster. Don't think that your bees are struggling just because of the different sizes of the clusters. February and March, especially March, there's the boom. That's the springtime of when the bees are really starting to build. So if there's food in the hive and they want the fondant, they'll take the fondant. Just make sure it's topped up and monitor it. Just bear in mind, it is February, it's still early days and it is still winter. So just make sure that the bees have food. Mm -hmm.